everyone. This is Ara Derdarian of the HT Guys, and today we have a video for you. Uh, it's the assembly process of my do-it-yourself um, subwoofer kit that I bought from Parts Express. I ended up buying the Dayton Audio RS1200K. It's a 12-inch uh, reference series subwoofer with a 500-watt uh, amplifier. It went for just a little bit under $600. It's currently out of stock, but uh, they say there are they will have more in stock soon. Uh, the subwoofer itself, uh, as I said, it's got a 500 watt amplifier, 12 inch diameter subwoofer, and it goes from 25 hertz up to 180 hertz. It does have an adjustable low pass filter, and it measures 17 inches on a side. It's not um, exactly the smallest subwoofer, but it's uh, it, you know it's a good size. It was a little bit bigger than the subwoofer that it replaced, and when my wife first saw it, she was a little bit concerned. And that kind of forced me to have to move it around a little bit. But we eventually uh, came to an agreement and I get to keep the subwoofer. The subwoofer that I am replacing is the KEF Q400B. When I purchased it, it was $700 and that, that's roughly the price as well. $700 for the subwoofer, about $100 more than the, uh, the Dayton Audio that I just assembled. Uh, it is a closed boxed subwoofer. It ranges, frequency response is from 28 hertz to 140 hertz. It also has a variable low pass filter. And this one measures 13 inches aside, so a little bit bigger on the replacement than what I used to have. And for reference, I just wanted to show you what I use in my theater. It is the Sioux Research VTF-3 Mark IV subwoofer. It's discontinued. They do have uh, the Mark V out. The Mark IV when I bought it was seven hundred dollars. Uh, it can go as low as sixteen hertz. Uh, it could go up um, upper extension up uh, above two hundred hertz. The um, the size of this thing. This is what kind of limits this to be used everywhere. It's a twenty two and a quarter inch by seventeen and three quarters by twenty five and three quarters. So it's quite big, and it uh, it weighs a lot. It weighs seventy five pounds. It's a fantastic subwoofer. And again, for $100 more than this kit, um, it's a pretty, really nice subwoofer. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, whether it's worth it or not to build the subwoofer yourself or go and, um, you know, buy a new subwoofer, uh, you, you know, from an online retailer. So what we'll do now is we'll let you watch the video of me assembling the subwoofer, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of going this route versus just buying something from an online uh, dealer. All right, uh, we're gonna go through uh, assembling a subwoofer that I bought from Parts Express. Uh, I wouldn't call this a DIY project as much as I would call it an assembly project. Somebody over at Parts Express already designed all the components and the cabinet and everything. Uh, the product comes in two boxes and uh, the bigger box is the cabinet and the smaller boxes of electronics and the, and the driver and all that stuff i'm doing this in my kitchen so if you hear the dishwasher that's what it is uh, you get nothing but professionalism with the ht guys all right so we'll uh, go through this process and hopefully at the end of it we'll have ourselves a subwoofer so i got everything out of the boxes and uh, a lot to recycle just kind of pain in the butt but uh, all right so what do we have here this is the actual driver and then over here we got the uh, amplifier. This is some foam that'll go on the inside. Got a bunch of foam there. And uh, more foam. And uh, so here's the, um, the grill. And this is what the subwoofer looks like. It's a kind of really nice finish. And uh, that's it. That's the inside. So the rest will just be to kind of put this together. So as I unbox the parts, we'll kind of go through each step. The instruction said to put in the spike feet first, but my subwoofer is gonna go on a subdued uh, platform, isolation platform, so I'm not putting the spike feet on there. And next up was to put on, put in the uh, amplifier. Here's a view of the back, and uh, you can see some of the settings and controls. The uh, thing weighs about maybe 20 pounds, it's pretty heavy. And see if I can flip this over with one hand. And you can see it's already got the speaker wires on back. Boy, this video sucks, huh? It's got the speaker wires on back and it's got the connections for the um, 
to make the speakers you just plug it in it's uh really straightforward i think the process is going to be very simple to do next up is to add foam and uh, you'll see it's hard to see but uh, inside there let's see if i can turn it and get a little more light inside there anyway um you'll have to cut around the pieces and then uh, use some of the spray foam here this 3m spray foam just spray it on the back it'll get tacky and then spray adhesive sorry uh, and then spray it on the back it'll get tacky put it down and uh next after that is connect up the the woofer driver and then plug it in it's li literally like three steps this is very straightforward to do all right so all the uh, foam is in there it's pretty much you just wedge it in and uh, like i said i use the glue uh, it's pretty thick and i got it up against the back brace there as well you can see the ceiling it just kind of wedged in and uh, you got to make sure that it's, it's not going to move around and that's what the glue is for but uh, last piece is to install the driver and then we're ready to go all right this is the driver it's really heavy man takes two hands so uh i'll get this uh, you know let me get a shot of the back side as well that's the uh, back of the subwoofer and uh there's a foam gasket here that'll help seal it when we screw it down. And then the binding posts, uh, is a little bit uh, perplexed. There's nowhere to clip those on, so I'm gonna have to strip them. And actually what you do is you just put, put it in there and you let it go, and there's a spring that holds it in place. All right, there's the uh, connection. I'll just show you how easy. All right, so that's it. It's been all assembled, and I can put uh, this on it. And there it is with the speaker grill on. So next thing to do is go and plug this thing in and see how it sounds. Okay, so I have it in place and uh, it's a little bit bigger than the one that was there, but uh, not, I wouldn't say terribly large. I don't think the wife's gonna complain too much, but she hasn't seen it yet. We won't capture that on video. So now I'm on uh, iTunes, uh, Apple Music, and there's a 20 Hertz tone that I'm gonna play. You're not gonna hear this, but what you may hear is things rattling in this house. So. Don't know if you heard that, but that was something rattling in the kitchen. So let's see. Um, let's go and do something that's not so crazy. 60 hertz. 60 hertz. Can't hear that either, I'm sure, but uh, there's a little less rattling. I'll have to tune everything in this house and batten down the hatches, but so far it sounds fantastic with tones, and uh, I'm gonna watch some movies. Uh, it'll be pointless to put it on here, but I will do a, um, you know, just a synopsis when it's all done. So that's it. Uh, it's very straightforward to put the subwoofer together. It took more time to recycle the cardboard and take the components out of the boxes than it did take to put it together. Now, how does it sound? It sounds fantastic. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it rattles uh, the walls uh, when, you know, when I crank it up and try to do that. Obviously, during normal listening, that's something that you don't want to have. But uh, w watching, um, what was it, uh, Act of Valor, I had Braden over. He was watching it, too. There was this one scene where they were rescuing uh, somebody from some South uh, American... Uh, warlord and there are some scenes where they're in a chase explosions it just sounded fantastic sounded better than the calf but of course uh this is a little bit bigger subwoofer and it has a little bit more power than the calf did so you know not surprising uh, the calf is still a very good subwoofer and it is uh doing uh, new duty upstairs in my uh, master bedroom uh now compared to the sioux you know the sioux i think sounds a little bit better and uh, it's a little bit tighter, and it did cost only about $100 more. So what about all those people who say uh, it sounds as good as subwoofers costing twice as much? You know, I don't know that I would go that far saying it sounds as good as subwoofers costing twice as much. I think it can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Sioux, but lose. But then again, the Sioux is the size of a coffee table, and this uh, is only 17 inches aside. 
So in some respects, this is better. In other respects, it's not. So there's something for everybody. You just kind of have to figure out what, uh, what's right for you. Uh, now, SVS makes some subwoofers that are about the same size that sound fantastic too. And they don't cost much more than the $600 I spent for this kit. And I think what it comes down to is that companies in the past that weren't online would have to recoup a lot of the development costs, the overhead, the marketing, and all that kind of stuff. So a $600 subwoofer ends up costing $1,200. And sometimes people would charge more just because of the name. I, I know some projector companies that would do that. And I heard one owner of a projector company make a comment that the more I charged, the more people wanted it. And it wasn't necessarily that it was he put any more effort into it. And I think there's some of that that goes on as well. Now, when you got companies like Sue and SVS or online retailers, they are uh, very efficient at what they do. They don't have the markup. So I'm not, I'm not convinced that this is as good as those for the price. But it was a fun project. And, um, you know, $600 for a 15-inch subwoofer, again, uh, it becomes down to your choice. Do you want to build it or assemble it and kind of have that, um, I don't know, pride, if you will. When people come over, you can say, hey, I, I put the subwoofer together because you're not really building it. I, I've seen people who do build subwoofers and they build the cabinets and they design the components and everything. But um, so this it kind of is one step removed from that. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the product. I'm very happy that it's uh, in my family room and the uh, people who've watched movies since I put this in have made comments about how fantastic it sounds. So go ahead, go out and buy it. Be assured that it's um, a, it meets the standards that everyone, you know, that Parts Express says, and it sounds great. But um, there are better subwoofers out there that don't cost twice as much. So that's the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feedback is welcome. At uh, Send us your feedback to htguys at htguys.com. Uh, we read all the email and respond to just about all of it as well. You can find us on the internet at uh, htguys.com. And uh, if you go over to our website, if you want to support the show, there's a couple ways of doing that. One, you could buy us a cup of coffee. Uh, there's a PayPal metaphor over, over on the right-hand side of the web page. You can click on the donation level that you choose, and uh, we really appreciate any support we get from that. If you do the $25 calf pal, you can even get a little shout-out for you know anything you want. And uh, you can also do your Amazon shopping through our link. If you go to htguys.com slash Amazon or go to our website that we just mentioned, and there's at the top there's an Amazon banner, it takes you directly to the Amazon website. And uh, from there, it, it looks it's identical to the, if you were to go there directly. But the difference is our code is embedded in there. And any purchases that you make, we get a little bit of a commission. A lot of listeners have done that, and we really appreciate it. If you're the buyer for your company, uh, please use it. Uh, it doesn't cost you or your company a penny more. And uh, what ends up happening is we get a little bit of support. And uh, that is greatly appreciated. Tell your friends as well. All right, so that's it for this video, and uh, hopefully there'll be a few more in the 2016, and we'll talk to you later.